Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rulings regarding prayer. Clothes worn in prayer, part 2. As previously discussed, prayer performed with a najis body or in najis clothes is void. However, there are some exceptions. Let's have a look at these exceptions. 1. If the body or clothes are stained with blood and the stain is smaller than a finger phalanx, almost one square inch, it is okay to perform the prayer with it. 2. If small pieces of clothing such as socks or a hat are najis, they can be worn during prayer regardless of the amount or kind of najasa in purity on them. 3. If one's body or clothes become najis due to the bloody scar of a wound or a pimple and one performs prayer in that state, the prayer will be valid. 4. If during prayer one carries a small najis item in one's pocket, so small that the private parts could not be covered with it like a handkerchief, the prayer is valid even though the recommended precaution demands that even this little bit of impurity be avoided. However, if the najasa of this item comes in contact to the clothes, the prayer is invalidated. 5. In the case that someone is stuck somewhere with a najis body or in najis clothes and changing or purifying the body or clothes is not possible or the time for prayer is too short, they are permitted to perform their prayer in that condition. And finally, when a nanny is unable to easily find pure clothes for prayer. However, this case has some details, so you may refer to Ayatollah Makarem Shirazi's Practical Laws of Islam for further information. Institute for Compiling and Publishing the Works of Ayatollah Makarem Shirazi